Everybody, my name is Jasmine, and I'm the new face of the G Squared Network, aka the Green and Gold Effect. And there's something I just can't read, but guys, I'm sorry, I've just been promoted from being an intern, so I'm just a little bit nervous. But on today's show, we're going to showcase some of our new hit TV shows airing this upcoming season. All the shows highlighted today are based around the same group of crew members that work right here at the G Squared Network. So, first, we're going to take a look at a sneak peek of the crew. Check this out. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, you guys. My name is Brian, and today I'll be introducing a snippet of an upcoming reality TV series called The Crew. Now, we've all heard of the top reality shows such as Jersey Shore, Basketball Wives, and Love of Hip Hop, but nobody knows who is actually behind these hit TV shows or the amount of work that goes into creating one. So today, you're going to see a few members within the crew of The Green and Gold Effect and how they face reality while creating reality shows. And I hope you're not too lost. Now, it seems like a pretty interesting concept, right? Cameramen following other cameramen around while they bring cameramen. Okay, I hope I didn't lose you. How about you just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show? Okay, are, are, are we recording? Did that fool press the button yet? Hey, how you doing? I'm Chris Jones. I am the new director of the great show, The Crew, and I am so excited to be a part of this project. It's just another thing to add to my very long resume, you know what I'm saying? I've done so much for the entertainment industry. This is just another step for me to rule the world, and I'm just right in there, you know? I started out as an actor, you know, have you ever seen the movie Boogie Nights? Well, I was a stunt double in that, you know? It just, you, you can see my, uh, my work at, right at the very end, right before the credits. I've uh, written a lot of stuff, you know, most of the things that you know in movies, they're all my ideas, you know. I was the one that came up with uh, the whole Scarface idea and Say hello to my little friend! You know, that was me. Some of the best quotes in movies were my idea. You know? I see dead people. Bond. James Bond. King Kong ain't got on me! I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that, you know. Break yourself, fool! And you know this, man. You got knocked the f out. What a man got to do to get a cappuccino? I have done music. I can sing. I can dance. You know. Got all my skills. You know, Carlton. You know, I was his choreographer of the French Prince of Bel Air. You know, and it, ah, I'm just so excited. You know. I'm about to meet the producer if, if you know, he ever shows up to work. You know, I call him, but obviously he's talking to some girl trying to impress, you know, but hey, time is money, you know. When you need to be here, you need to be here. You know what I'm saying? I got up early at 9.30 in the morning so I can be here on time. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> I don't sleep. <laughs> Least he can do is be here when he's supposed to be here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's 9.42, right? Come on now, he don't need a shower. He can't be that good looking. Okay, now this cast is full of characters, but I wanna know what some of you may have to say. So follow me on Twitter at Ms. Green and Gold and send me your feedback and I'm gonna share these comments right after this commercial break. This is fine. <laughs> All right, so over the break, I got some real funny comments about the show. First, I have from Norfolk, Virginia, at Miss Twerk something, who says, oh my God, these people are so ratchet. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know where they got these people, but I hope they're not producing this show. But next, I have Daddy Longlegs from Wilmington, Delaware, who says, man, that hoe's bad like a bag of money. Ain't he talking about me? Is that, this dude is corny. I can't. I really can't. And finally, from New York, New York, I have 
Lip Thinking Girl 325 who says, this show is going to be real interesting. I hope it doesn't get canceled. Girl, me too, because if it does, I won't have no job. But right now, I do. So let's get back to the show. Uh, yeah, man, I'm on the way to the studio. You know what I'm saying? You know, another day, another dollar. I uh, just got off the phone with my uh, director. He's being real anal, talking about hurry up. He don't know any better. Uh, just, you know, I spoke to Denzel earlier. He's going to be showing up next week to do the first uh, shooting. We got a little cute intern that's going to be working with us. I hope she shows up today. I love what I do. I'm a big time producer, man. I, you know what I'm saying? Denzel's one of my, my main go to guys. You seen John Q, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's all me, baby. Training day? Come on, man. Training day I didn't do. But uh, out of time, yeah, that was me. Partially. One third of it. You know, I was I was in there. You know, they didn't have my name in the credits or nothing like that, but uh, you know. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying, bro. Big time producer, man. Ain't nobody here tripping, bro. I mean, I'm a little late, but ain't no big deal. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what's going on over here, man. Take one. Q talent. Right here, you know what I'm talking about? Yo! Yo, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna be a little bit. Hello? Hold on. You're off the phone or outside, man. We're, we're recording here. You know, who are you? I'm the director. You know, I run this stuff. What are you talking about? You're, you're the director? Yes. Well, guess I what? I'm, I'm the producer, bro. Well, happy birthday. Now, you need to get off your phone and let's get to work. Hold on, man. Hey, yo, bro, you just can't talk to me. I'll pay your bills, bro. And I make sure you pay get pay bills. Hey, look, man, you ain't look. You ain't gonna disrespect me in front of my staff, right here. My staff. Your, whoa. They do what I Remember, say. I'm the producer. You're the director. Okay, you can produce. Okay. Your office while you I'm see working. this person right here? Yes. I pay her. You see him right here? Yeah. I pay him. And they do what you I say. You see her over there? Yeah, yeah. I pay. I pay you too. Yeah. Okay. I'm putting your son through college. All right. So okay. just relax. Well, you know who you, I am. You, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? You know what? Do you know who I am? He knocked dude out. Okay, I'm officially hooked. I wish I could have been on that show. I'd probably make me making more money than I am now. <clears throat> anyway, I love my job. Well, that's it. Y'all want more? Well, you're gonna have to wait until the show airs this fall on the G Squared Network. For those of you who don't know what G Squared is, that's the green and gold effect. Get it? Green and gold? G Squared? Whatever. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed me, myself, and I, and of course the show. Again, my name is Brian. It's been a pleasure to be a host. And if you have any questions or just want to chat it up, don't be shy. Follow me on Twitter at Ms. Green and Gold. That's at Ms. Green and Gold with the Z. Ms. with the Z. And just enter the hashtag the crew. And I'll be sure to respond. All right, love. Y'all be blessed. <laughs> Be sure to check your local listings for the crew. Now we have another show called Prank and Pie. This show is actually hosted by our very own producer and the finest boss ever, 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 ever to walk this earth. His name is Mike. So take a look at how my boo and the people behind the scenes of the G Square Network spend their time. There, I'm Mike, and you're watching. The Prank and Pie. Now, what is The Prank and Pie? It's a reality show. It's about food and pranks. So if you want to see somebody get caught really good, want to see something unexpected happen, to celebrity guests, coming up next on Prank and Pie. All right? <laughs> oh! Oh! Yo, what is this? Did somebody pee in my cup? What is this? Mike got a paper cut and he called in sick, little punk. Yeah. So that means I'm in charge. Okay. I run this So here's what's going to happen, all right? They all going to listen to me today. All right, okay. I run this piece. I hear you, man. All right, then. Now that that's settled, we got the vice president of the studio coming in today. We're going to make our favorite cookies, some Oreos, right. you know, some from scratch. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. But yeah. none of us know how to cook for stuff, so what we're going to do is we're going to, you got to the gas station, right? Yeah. That's okay. all set up. That's She's right. not going to know? Nah. All right, good. All right, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. 
Yeah, so he's he's cookies. Cookies. Well, we got to the man. Yeah. What is he doing? Oreos, man. Is he loud? Like, he always is. Like, hey, look at that. Always eating up on the Look at that, Don't even leave that for us. Like, the world, we don't want to work hard. He's not even working. How many are you right now? No, because he's not even full. How many? It's not even no sunny. You're coming to war, Joy. What's wrong with you? Man, JJ is just getting on my nerves, coming like oh, every man. day, yeah. hot, like it's killing to right. work. Like I don't understand this. Like we gotta do something about this. I don't know. Yeah, right? we do. Right. Right. We really got. I mean, this is just going too far. Like, like what? What are we gonna do? What should we do? I don't know. What do you think? We you... well, since we're serving Oreos, oh. let's put toothpaste in the cream. Oh, uh, that's that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I like that. They're making it real. Okay. Okay. Real. Okay. So. You had a toothpaste on you, or? Yeah. All right, let's, let's go ahead and let's do that. All right, let's go. Cool. I'll be your lookout, make sure nobody see you. Okay, okay, okay. Let's put the orange on the plate for the VP. That way, the new intern right. knows which one is good to eat. There you go. Girl, you got me. Are you good? Intern, intern. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Yes, hello. What's up, Russian girl? I'm gonna um, um, let you know. Make sure you give the VP a nice little plate. We're right there with the orange. You know, we just put that for a little. You know, just to spruce things up a little bit, just for her. VP? Yes. Yeah, don't get that yes. mixed up. You know? Please. Yeah. Make sure that goes to And JJ. this? JJ the host. Yes, for the host. VP. JJ, VP. There you go. VP? No. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Come no. on, intern. No. Hey, wait. Russia. Gotta know this. Russia. Huh? JJ, VP. Do you understand? Yeah, I'm counting. All right, yeah. We're counting. We're counting. Our job is on the line. Really? Wow. And so is yours. Kind of sort of. Make sure you get this right. Get the orange. <laughs> and welcome back to our cookie show, Miss Smith. I cannot wait for these cookies. Like, I've been thinking about these cookies all day. Well, I think they're ready. Bring them out. I wish our crew was like that. Ooh. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. Our crew is even more hardcore. You probably can tell since Mike isn't back. I hope he's okay. But anyway, thanks for watching Prank and Pie. Get out of here. <laughs> Are you crazy? Gosh, man. Hey, um, yo, uh, my name is Mike. I hope to see y'all next week. Thanks for watching Prank and Pie. I'm gonna come up here, take over my show. Y'all crazy. Y'all done lost y'all mind. You're not gonna do that to me. My crew, they crazy, man. Jeez, putting stuff in my coffee. What's wrong with them? That was so foul. I can't believe that they got away with some of that stuff. Don't forget to tune in or DVR Prank and Pie every Thursday night. Okay, so now we're gonna go see Breon Good working double time in another show, Confessions of a Crew Member. This is kind of a spinoff of the crew, so let's see what really goes on in the minds of the people who run the G Squared Network. Welcome to Confessions of a Crew Member. I'm your host, Brian. Ever wonder what really goes on in the minds of the production of the green and gold effect? I knew I do. So we set up cameras and captured shocking footage of three crew members that didn't mind telling it all on camera. The funny thing is they didn't know that the record button was on. So first, let's take a look at our new intern, Jasmine, who is maybe a bit too eager to please everyone. Let's step into confessional. Are you ready? My name's Jasmine and I'm from Wyoming. I love working here. The producer is so cute. Like the first day I came, I just saw his chocolate belt walking and I just lost my mind. You know, and he said hi to me and I thought I was just gonna pass out, but 
you know, he's teaching me a lot. Um, I came all the way out here from Wyoming just for the producer. I, I heard Mike was here and I just, I filled out like 150 applications just to make sure I could get here. You know, I got my hair done and everything just, you know, like he likes it. Hopefully he likes it. You know. He says he likes it sometimes, but I don't know, you know, I, I actually really need to go get my nails done. They're not, you know, they're a little rough today. Maybe he could take me, actually, because you know, I have to get him donuts and coffee every morning. He kind of owes me, if you think about it. Actually, they all owe me, really, you know. Um, oh, except for the camera guy. He's, he's kind of creepy, so I like to stay away from him, you know. Uh, he follows me around and he does little dances. I, I, don't, I don't know if he thinks that's attractive or something. I, I just don't know. Yeah, besides the camera guy, you know, I make it through my days just by watching Mike because, you know, he's tall, dark, and so handsome. And we don't get that in Wyoming, you know, over in the, the West Coast. You know, it's, it's nothing but cows and, and tumbleweeds and <laughs> cowboys and westerns and Django and stuff. But hopefully I can bring Mike back. You know, I need some Caribbean flavor in my life. So hopefully he can be my rude boy, my rude, rude boy, you know. So I don't know, maybe we can get married one day. You know, you never know, but I have to get my nails done. Because that's, that's what I like, you know, with, with the inside. I want the white in the inside, kind of like Almond Joys, you know, because I told you he, he's Caribbean, you know, and that's, that's how I stay sick, you know. That might be how I got these, too. Do you like those, Mike? <laughs> Interns, when will they learn to stay in their place? Jasmine might need a reality check and very soon before she gets her feelings hurt. Now let's take a look at how the producer feels about the crew of the Green and Gold Effect. You hit play and record at the same time? Yeah, good man. All right, good man, because you know what I'm saying? I'll pay good money for the studio. Don't be messing up my stuff. Shades. Nah, nah, man, I can't take these off. For what? Come on, man, nah. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing that, man. Whatever, y'all. Hey, I'm the producer. I ain't got to take my shades off, all right? Oh, all right, he knocked me out. So what? Yo, man, yo, somebody get this person out of here, man. Back in action, you know what I'm saying? This is week two, baby. You know what I'm saying? Got my boy Denzel coming through the studio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, dog. Remember that intern I was telling y'all about? Well, she's fine. But uh, she's a little she's a little annoying, you know what I'm saying? Like, she just be coming up all randomly. Hey, Mr. Mike, do you need anything? Um, you, you know we're recording, right? Of course I know you're recording. Do you need anything? I'm here for you. Do you need anything? Oh. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I appreciate it, though. Okay, let me know. I'll give you my cell, my house, and my other room. Uh, okay? All three, really? Oh, I'm, I'm, okay. I'll, yeah. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Have a good day. I'll see you. All right. Bye. All right. Yo. Oh, Y'all see what I'm talking about? That girl is crazy. How you look that good and be that crazy? It don't make no sense. Yo, she was like, I don't even drink coffee. Who, who does that? Like, she bring me two coffees a day. And from McDonald's? Come on. McDonald's coffee? She could have went to Starbucks, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, and donuts, you know, I got diabetes and high blood pressure. I can't be eating stuff like that. I'm a producer, you know what I'm saying? I got to eat that Hollywood diet, you know what I'm saying? That Aka berry. In, is it Aki or Akai? It's Akai berry, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got to eat that stuff. You know, I done met everybody out there in LA, man. I done met Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jamie Raccoon, you know what I'm saying? All them dudes, man. Them dudes is crazy, dog. What you mean, Jamie Foxx? No, man, not Jamie. Jamie Raccoon, Will Smith. Yeah. See these shades? You know what I'm saying? These is verse. No, they're not Versace. Um, and if I see Chris, tell him I'm looking for him. What you mean he's here? He's here. Um, yeah. Tell, like, I'm looking for him so he can, you know, do that thing. Man, I should have just fired him, man. Okay, now I would love to see the look on Jasmine's face when she sees how the producer really feels about her. But somehow I don't think we'll be seeing the last of her. Next up, we're going to step into the confessional and look at one of the Green and Gold's effects, favorite camera guy, Chris. Hey, how you doing? I'm Chris. You know who I am. And I need to squash some rumors between me and the producer, okay? Yes, I punched his lights out. No, he did not fire me, all right? I, watch the part. Jeez, act like I ain't recording nothing in here. I still run things here. My name is on the door, all right? Right now it's out of broom closet, but that's only because they fumigate in my office, you know? I saw a big spider and I don't like spiders, so I had the, the people come in and take care of that for me so the thing won't bite me 
you know, and put me out and stuff, because that's a bad thing. Right now, I'm using the cameras, it's because the cameraman, what happened was, he got sick, right? And he had to go home, and then his dog died, and the mama, my mama got sick, so I had to take care of him. But I will say, that new intern, she pretty, yeah. I'm gonna invite her to my birthday party. She and I are gonna be splitting some ice cream and cake, some whipped cream, some chocolate sauce. Mmm. She can bring me coffee. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'll drink her coffee. Mm. Mike don't appreciate her. He do all this stuff to her, and she do all this stuff for him. And no one even thank you. Say thank you. She deserves it. I'll say thank you over and over again. Yeah. I'm going to say thank you right now. And I'm going to go do my job. And you can tell Mike, if I see him, I'm going to set him straight. I'm not too bad. I guess everyone's favorite camera guy isn't such a sweetheart at all. I can't believe I invited Chris over to my last get together last Saturday. Who knew that he would be such a creep? Anyways, thank you for tuning in to Confessions of a Crew Member. Next time, we'll take a look at three other crew members of the Green and Gold production crew. I'm Brian, and you have just stepped into Confessions of a Crew Member. Wait, wait, hold on. The camera was on? I had no idea. This is so embarrassing. Mike, Mike, my boo. I swear I'm not that crazy. It's still okay to call me anytime, every time, wherever you are. And what, I don't know what Chris was doing behind the screen. I mean, I promise I will not RSVP to his party. Anywho, the next show is called Norfolk Uncensored. We'll get a sneak peek right after the break. Hi, being there for kids is super good fun. All it takes is a little know-how. Curiosity, the key to a lifetime of discovery. Kids will go to mighty great lengths to impress you. Kids know what's cool. Good thing you don't have to. Moments like these happen every day. Lend your support. Go to bigbrothersbigsisters.org. Until next time. Mom, shouldn't we pick a place to meet? If you're not home, should we go to the neighbors? Should I pick up Sophia at the babysitter's house? There's no reason not to have a plan in case of a terrorist attack. How do we keep in touch with each other if the phones don't work? And some extremely good reasons why you should. If we can't make it home, who will pick us up? Talk to your family about what you would do in case of an emergency. For more information, go to www.ready.gov. Hello, and welcome back to the crew. I'm Jeremy Simmons. And I'm John Hamilton II. Now, Jeremy... Have you ever thought about what really goes on with those crew members on those reality TV shows? Man, well, I've always wondered how the cameraman keep their sanity while following the Kardashian all day. Like, that's crazy, man. Yeah, and so have I. And our next segment is about just that. You remember Chris Jones, right? Chris Jones. Chris Jones. Yeah, man. Man, that dude, man, that dude is crazy, man. He OD, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, we have a live report with him on our demoted director. Take a look. I think I'm there. What's going on, guys? This is uh, Mike, your good-looking producer, of course, <laughs> the handsome one. Um, you guys remember Chris, right? Yeah, the guy I fired? Well, you guys know him as the guy who punched me in the face, whatever. But, okay, I think I'm pulling up on his house right now. Okay, all right. Turns out, I think he stole some equipment from the studio. I heard he lives about right over there. But I'm gonna have to sneak in through the back. Yeah, I already did a bunch of research. I'm not no stalker or nothing like that. I just don't like people messing with me. All right, that's my point of entry right here. All right, guys. May the Lord be with you. Mom, if you don't see me, just know that your son was never a punk. I love you, Mom. All right, I'll come here. Did we lose the feed? Like, are, like, are we still on? Uh, we're experiencing technical difficulties right now. Uh, 
Now I'm getting a signal that Mike is back online. Hey Mike, what's going on? Okay. Okay, I'm here. Oh, oh man. Almost bust my freaking butt. All right, guys. I'm here. Almost there. But I think I'm right down the alley. Okay. Let's do this. This guy I think he could just punch me in the face and get away with it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm all right. He won't punch me in the face. I think you can get away with it. What the? Okay, uh, that's not good. All right. Okay. Okay. I think that's him right there. What is he? I thought I saw something. Oh God, that's him right there. What the heck is he doing? Okay, I might have to get a little closer. Oh God, this guy is a freaking weirdo. Is he dancing? What the heck is wrong with this guy? All right. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta get closer. Oh gosh. All right. Oh gosh. Is that right there? It is him. Oh gosh, I hope he doesn't see me. Oh, oh god. This creep. This guy is such a creep. What is he doing? You straight? Call the police. Get someone out there. Oh, he's back online. Mike, are you okay? Oh god, I can't believe I got out of there. Oh, okay, I think he's gone. I think he's gone. All right, uh, I think he's gone. Oh, let me see if he's gone. Is he still over there? Oh Jesus! Is he still over there? Oh my god, that's him. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh gosh. Oh, oh gosh. All right. Okay. I think I got away. Um. I don't know what to do right now. I'm stuck out here. I'm too far from my car. This guy's like really, he's really crazy, man. I need to get out of here. Oh Jesus. Oh, oh, I can't believe. That was close. Hope. Hope I'm safe. But I tell you one thing, that guy is crazy. He's he's a weirdo. Oh, that was a close one. Oh god, I just, oh, I tell you man, I just that was that was really close. But I didn't get a chance to find none of my equipment. But uh, oh, oh god, no, no, help me! What just happened? Who was that? Who was that man? Attention viewers, we are the Reality Crew Alliance, and we have taken over this station. As of this moment, we hereby refuse to be a part of the downfall of society that is snooky and real complaining housewives. Here is a list of our demands. Do not resist or Nicki Minaj will return to American Idol for another season. Hey, we're not reality stars, we're just talk show hosts. Shut up, man. Shut up, man, before they shut down Top Model, man. Shut up, man. Silence! You have seven days to change the Nielsen ratings. Good night. No, not the hair! It's okay. You're home now. 
Your home. Oh.